This is the hotel boss, reporting live from Las Vegas. Paul Evans chair. We're here in the art district. New bars, restaurants popping up in this area in between uh, the main strip and downtown. So it's one of the new up and coming areas. We're gonna go check out this bar. Hey! My man, Michael McGraw. <laughs> We're here at Three Sheets, right near downtown, the Arts District. Lots of beers, 30 on tap. What can I help you guys with? I'm, I'm gonna try the wood beer. Sort of grainy taste. That's it, grainy. You know, and, and Michael, I suggest something with a little bite to it. Here. So what's the key to pouring wanna, a good beer? So you wanna do about like a 45 degree angle till you hit that bell, and then you straighten it up. It's tasty. How do you know all this? Because he brews beer. You I know, but that's garage. like, what? I don't know anything about beer. So I've been making beer for about 12 years now. So with beer, with malts, you have your basic malts, you have your Pilsen, you have your pale malt. There's a difference between a strong light beer and a light strong beer. In fact, in Europe, in Budapest, in Prague, women drink light beer, or dark beer, because dark beer is lighter. The lighter beers in, Pil in, in Prague are stronger beers. To go see uh, our barber shortly. If he looks like this, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> what made you start this place? Uh, give us a little background. Uh, well, uh, I'm from Detroit and I wanted to build a place that kind of reminded me of like the industrial blue collar parts of the city. Yeah. Uh, Vegas didn't really have anything like it, so I just had to do it. I, I felt like the downtown scene was kind of asking for something like that. So I took it upon myself. I just started coming here. All the great hair that you see, it's all courtesy of Larry. Get rid of one at a time. <laughs> it's with the decor, like why the American flag? The greatest country in the world. That's right. Um, this was a casket flag from World War II. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the 76? What's the deal with that one? So, that's a bicentennial flag. They made those in 1976. That was the year that my dad came back from the Navy. And uh, so he bought it. They have one at Caesars <laughs> for $90,000. Really? Mm -hmm. See you guys. Back of Esther's Kitchen, one of the hottest new restaurants in uh, Vegas. Everybody could say uh, their bow tie tonight was tied by Matt Goss. Man. My brother. The stuff that makes Vegas Vegas. And, right. and you know, it's not, it's not like every time that you get to dress up. And so, you know, one of the things that excites me is being able to go to your show. You've got to be uh, dressed to impress because you've got to keep up with uh, the king of Vegas here. <laughs> and so, I think it's nice to be able to like, hang out as the lads. We still have, you know, we get in trouble, we have a laugh, and, yeah. you know, but I think that it's nice to, like, just hang out. The friends, the family, the people you surround yourself with that yeah. make, make life whole. Back of the house. <laughs> we live, back God. Here we go, look at Sharp, mm. look at Sharp. Huh. But your, uh, your bow tie wasn't tied by Matt Goss. Damn. Oh, snap.
If 